Welcome to Stump Finchy, Ireland's hottest football trivia podcast. My name is Mark Farley and I'm your presenter in Ball Studies weekly football trivia podcast spectacular, Stump Finchy. Each week, two competitors will come together to see if they can outwit Ireland's greatest mind on obscure football knowledge, Sean Finchy Meehan. So let me introduce you to our football mastermind right now. Sean, how are you feeling today? You can't be confident at this stage because you've been stumped, I think it's a two weeks in a row or two out of three anyway. Yeah, I'm reeling. Mark, I'm reeling. You're reeling. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I've been put in my place. Um, you know, I've 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 been watching a lot of Serge Barberes highlights. A very spooky looking man. Uh, <laughs> that's it's one thing that always stuck with me from my childhood is that I was always afraid of Serge Barberes, and I knew he'd come back to haunt me, and he did. Yeah, well, you know, it's the sign of a true. Uh, uh, a true a man who is full of wisdom, I suppose. Like, so some people may have football knowledge, you have football wisdom. And the sign of that is that when Serge Barbara screws you out of a, a quiz, you go off and you, you, know, you learn more about him. You're eager to learn, not repeat the same mistakes as he did before. Um, so you know, that's the sign of someone who's, you know, you're, you've got a growth mindset there, Finchie, and that's what you're going to need if you're going to be able to, to outwit these two bastions of football trivia. <laughs> uh, Mick McLeay and Gary Connaughton, both on the line again, lads. What can we say? You've, you know, Finchie conquered. Shocked the world last week, I'd say, Mark, with the Bundesliga yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, we were laughing at our chances coming into it and then, I don't know, surprised ourselves more than anybody else, I think, Mick. Yeah, just a point of order. He did win in between. It's two out of three weeks we've done it. We didn't win the first four either. So I don't think we've quite <laughs> got him kind of like, uh, you know, uh, he's not a beaten man yet. But I, yeah. I'd say we've got him where we want them. Have him on the road. His, mouth is, his mouth is on the curb and our foot is just behind <laughs> ready to come down. And do you know what? The fact that he's on the ropes is not just good news for you, it's also good news for our listeners because we want football fan friends to come on to the show, two, fa- two fans of the podcast and fans of football to come on and take on Finchie. See if you can stump Finchie yourselves and you could win yourself a 50 euro just eat voucher. All you have to do is email the gaffer at buzz.e or get in touch with us on social media at buzz, D-O-T-I-E. If you want to come on the show and try and stump Finchie because at this stage, Gary and Mick, you know, what's left, what's more, what more is left to accomplish? You've done two out of three, maybe try and beat him two weeks in a row. Let's see if that can happen this week. So uh, we'll be jumping straight into it, boys. As always, there are two rounds. In round one, we're going to have to name, or you're going to have to name a, a random footballer. So in this round, I'm asking you to think of a random footballer who's played for a certain football club in the 21st century and has at least three caps for his country. Finchie is going to try and guess that player's identity. If he does not manage that, you will get a two-point head start going into our second round, which is Stump Finchie, where each of you will get 60 seconds to answer as many football quiz questions as possible. And then Finchie is going to have to try and catch whatever number you achieve combined. You get a two-point head start, like I mentioned, should Finchie not be able to guess the player's identity. So we're going to start off with you, Mick McCarthy. Um, McCarthy? I forgot the H, Mick McCarthy. Uh, in order to make this process a bit more difficult for Finchie, you're going to have to answer five questions about the club player and the club, and, uh, or, sorry, the club the player played for. And for every question you get wrong, Finchie will be given a piece of information about that football, play, football player. Today's club is QPR. So Mick, have you got your player? I have. I've got a Queen's Park Rangers man. Very good. So we're going to start off with question number one. If you survive this and Finchie cannot guess the player, you'll get a two-point head start into the final round. Question number one, Mick, though, if you get this wrong, we will reveal the player's initials. QPR finished the inaugural season of the Premiership in fifth place. Who finished as the club's top scorer that season with 20 league goals? Les Ferdinand. Easy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Question number two. Mick, get this wrong. And we'll reveal the player's nationality. Which off-sacked manager did Mark Hughes replace as QPR <laughs> manager in January 2012? Off-sacked. Uh, Mark Hughes, 2012. Ooh. Jesus, would you know? I don't know. Um, Warnock? <laughs> yes, you do know. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. And then give the right answer. Sorry, sorry. Well, Sometimes, done. yeah. I don't know what you're messing You're not sure question you know. Number, question number three. Get this wrong, Mick, and reveal the player's position. Which Portuguese midfielder was QPR player manager for six months in 2008? Oh, uh, Sousa. Paulo Sousa. Yes. Well done. Jeez, you're really through all of these. Question number four, Mick. Get this wrong, and we'll reveal the player's club history. In 1984, 
Terry Venables left QPR to manage what club? Why are we giving them the job, John? Uh, El Telbo. El Tel left. Amateur of our lockdown 11. Four to manage Barcelona. Yes, well done. Was that just you trying to name another club that Terry Venables managed? No, well, no, I knew he was at Spurs in the early 90s, so I knew he managed Barcelona somewhere in between, so it would make sense. Good stuff, well done. You're nearly through all of these. Last question, mate, get this wrong, and we'll reveal the player's all-time goal scoring record. Other than white, what was the dominant colour on the QPR jersey on the last day of the 2011-2012 Premier League season, i.e., the day Aguero scored that famous goal. Sorry, okay. come again? Red, Red. indeed. Yeah. Well done. So, can I ask one of the all related those? question, actually? When Go do you on. think that, uh, do you think that in the history of football, if it goes on for another 500 years, somebody will ever go from being QPR manager to Barcelona manager again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, no, definitely not. No. It is a bit mad. That was why I thought you might have just gone, oh yeah, he managed Barcelona at some stage because there was no logical <laughs> step. <laughs> he obviously left to go to Barcelona. But uh, So Finchie, you have absolutely no clues other than the fact that this player played in the Premier League and he has three caps for his country, at least. Uh, can you guess who Mick is thinking of? Sorry, he, does, he might not have even played in the Premier League. He just played for QPR this century. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, this century. You you throw me off the scent. How many internationals did... Uh... Did QPR have it before they got to the Premier League? I, uh, well, I, say I know he wasn't there either. Um, I don't know. Um, let's go with Junior Hoylet. I don't know. No, it is. I think uh, I know who it is. But go on. I, no, because I'm afraid I might guess Gary the accident. Well, guess mine. I'm sure we will. Gary doesn't have to say it. I have a good yeah. poker Bobby, face. Bobby Zamora. No, not Fabio Zamora. Um, uh, it is less obvious than that. It is former Northern Ireland international, 39 caps for Northern Ireland between 1990 and 1999, <laughs> former Arsenal player and QPR between 1997 and 2001, Steve Morrow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not get that, Finchie? Bobby Zamora doesn't With no caps, clues. <laughs> Zamora, uh, I'm not sure, actually. Anyway, so you've gotten yourself... A two-point head start for yourself and Gary going into the final round. Can you make it four points, though, Gary? So you've also been thinking of a round of two caps. Oh, <laughs> just fell short of the, of yeah. the quota. Uh, Gary, can you get the lads an extra, get yourselves an extra two points for the final round? You've also been thinking of a QPR player. Are you ready? You've got five questions coming up now as well. Yeah. So get this one wrong, Gary. This is question number one. We will reveal the players' initials. Which member of the Liverpool's 2005 Champions League winning team Signed for QPR on the final day of the January transfer window in 2012. Gibral Cisse. Yes, well done. Uh, Question number two. Get this wrong, Gary, and reveal the player's nationality. Which Irish striker scored two goals in nine appearances during a 2014 loan spell at Loftus Road? Kevin Doyle. Yes, well done. This was to our the Build Up podcast. We'll know all about that. <laughs> uh, question number three, Gary. Get this wrong, and we'll reveal the player's position. Name the Bermuda International who is PR's top scorer this season. I haven't a clue. I don't know. <laughs> Every other question that was 10 years ago, you're like, yeah, no matter. <laughs> Who's scoring the most this season? Not a clue. I don't know. Finchy knows. I think, is it uh, Naki Wells? It is indeed uh, Naki Wells. I didn't know he played for Bermuda or QPR. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was always going to be a problem. The last time I remember, he was at, I remember him being at Burnley. <laughs> All right, but, uh, so what do I have to reveal? You have to reveal the player's position. So he's a midfielder. He's a midfielder. Doesn't Not really narrow it down too much, but look. No. Uh, if you get another one wrong, this could be problematic for you. Question number four, Gary. Get this wrong and we reveal the player's club history. Which Moroccan striker finished with 19 goals when QPO were promoted to the Premier League back in 2011? Adele Taraft. Adele Taraft is right. Well done. Uh, question number five, Gary. Get this wrong and we'll reveal the player's all-time goal-scoring record. Who was in goal for QPR when Aguero scored that famous goal at the Etihad in 2012? Was it Paddy Kenny? Paddy Kenny, Paddy Kenny. It was indeed Paddy Kenny. Well done. You've gotten through. Look, you. finchie has got a bit of a clue in the fact that it's a midfielder. But other than that, Sean, you're stabbing in the dark. It's not great. Uh... I'm just going to go Junior Hoylet again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, not, uh, on, Ma- I guess Martin yeah. Rowlands. No, Matt Phillips. 
The Actually, Scotland right. international, current West Brom player, was at QPR from 2013 to 2016. Matthew Phillips. Look at Finchie. This is going to be difficult for you because I've got a four-point head start now going into round two. Uh, this is the Finchie pursuit. That's, here's how it will work. You will both individually get a minute to answer as many football questions as possible. Your combined score will then set the bench- benchmark for Finchie as he pursues you. Obviously, your combined score plus four points you've gotten because of the fact that you have uh, stumped Finchie in round one. So, Mick, you're up first. Are you ready? Ready. Timekeeper, are you ready? Ready. Actually, hello, Donny. You haven't hey done there, the podcast guys. yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I can just... That's confusion than normal. Yeah, so fun. Uh, can I just yeah, make exactly. a quick comment? Uh, Sean, for, uh, for people who are watching the video, is wearing an interesting chain today. Is that your communion chain, Sean? Or I ordered this ages ago, and then... Uh, that normal people thing happened and now chains are the new wave <laughs> likely story a likely likely story. I, oh, no because he doesn't have a pendant on his one does he <laughs> I don't know I haven't watched it's it yet it's no. interesting Finchie you were never stumped on this podcast until the normal people started coming out and uh, maybe you've been spending a bit too much time watching the, the exploits of Connell and not enough time I've to study point blank, I, I've, I've refused to watch it thus far and I'm going to be steadfast in my refusal always the hipster uh, not for, for no reason other than pure jealousy at all of my friends who are on the soundtrack and got a lot of money so uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just envious really spites <laughs> alive and well in 2020 <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Look, let's get back into this. Mick, Donny, are you ready? I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one. Who's currently in first place in the Greek Greek Super League? Panagnosis. Olympiakos. What country hosted the 1978 World Cup? Argentina. Uh, what was the first club that Mark Hughes managed? Blackburn. Yep. Uh, how many World Cups did Emil Heskey play in? Two. Yes. Which Italian footballer was nicknamed the Matrix? I don't know. Marco Matarazzi. Who captained Denmark at Euro 96? Euro 96. Uh, Brian Laudrup. <laughs> Lars Olsen. Uh, from what club did Ruben Isfroy join Manchester United? Uh, PSV. Uh, who did Brazil beat in the first game of the 2014 World Cup? Uh, Mexico. Croatia. Who's the current oh, yeah. captain of the Netherlands? Uh, Van Dijk. Yes, Paul McGrath retired from playing when, with which English club? Derby. Sheffield United. Alexander Lacazette joined Arsenal from what club? Uh, Leon? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, Yashu- Yashuto yeah, time, Endo time, has 100... Time. Start as we finish. <laughs> Yashuto, Yashuto Endo has 152 caps for which country? Yashuto Endo. Japan? Yes. Oh. <laughs> no, that's the right pronunciation. <laughs> Japan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was good. Okay. Oh, I should have got United for Paul McGrath as well. I just forgot about that. Not bad, yeah. though. You you have six, but we were giving you seven because of a, a, a scriptwriter's typo. Should have been Euro ninety two, not Euro ninety six. So <laughs> ah. no, do you know what? We've already got our four point head start. I wouldn't. Have, yeah, I, it's a much fairer question, but I just, I wouldn't have got the answer to that. I didn't um, know Olsen. Uh, okay. I will not. I will also refuse to give out about it because Euro ninety six. Denmark captain was a bit of a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. But I wouldn't have known the answer, so don't give me okay. Who was the captain in 92? Was it also? Yeah, yeah. It was also. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't have got it anyway, so. Yeah. Um, Gary, so that's right. six you say, Danny. Six plus the four point four. Has, already, has him on ten. Already, right. Gary. So all you have to do here is bottle it and you're going to give yourselves an unassailable lead. Uh, Are you ready? Thanks, thanks, Mark, for setting me up for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look out to three. Three, two, one. Which Premier League club played the Vitality Stadium? Bournemouth. Uh, Dimitri Payet currently plays for what French club? Marseille. Uh, Spores Giovanni Lo Celso is from what country? Argentina. Which former Man United player is currently Orlando City captain? Nani. Yes, who scored Ireland's only goal when we beat Georgia 1-0 in the Viva in 2016? Shane Duffy. Seamus Coleman. Which English club won the 1998 World Cup Winners' Cup beating Stuttgart 1-0? Uh, Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea. Uh, Esteban Cambiasso played one season with what Premier League club? Leicester City. Uh, who won the 2017 Af- African Cup of Nations? Ivory Coast. Cameroon. Who won the 2013 FEI Cup final, beating Drogheda 3-2? Uh, Dundalk. 
Sligo Rovers. In 2009, Nigel De Jong left Hamburg to join what club? Man City. Uh, Eric Cantona began his career with which French club? Cannes. Oxor. Time, uh, which... time, 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 time. Can't get it. Oxair. Ah, oh, that wasn't great. Oxair. Oxair. I, you, you seem to get a lot of questions. Yeah, you got through a good bit. How many yeah. did you get, Donny? You got six right. Okay. Six Take as well. Six as well, yeah. Not bad. Uh, I renamed the Cup Winners Cup the World Cup Winners Cup. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> confused because uh, I was like an English club in the cl- in the World Cup Winners, and then I was like Sh- an English club didn't win the Champions League in that that year, so I couldn't have been. But uh, I I wouldn't have got it anyway. So, uh, so I would have that- got that. I would have got the thir- twenty thirteen final, and then I would have got not got a load of ones that you got, which <laughs> makes me feel good for pushbacks, Gary. Yeah, good stuff. So that we complement means that each other. We- with the two sets of sixes is 12, and your four points means that 16 is the score you need to catch, Ooh. Finchy, in your pursuit. Can I two just, minutes on the clock. Can I interrupt for one second? Just going back yeah. to Mick's round. Mick, did you say it was Brian or Michael Lauder, who was the Euro 96 cap? I said Brian. 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 Yeah, it was Michael who was cap. Oh, Michael was back <laughs> in 96, was he? Yeah. Ooh, the there you go. He's trying to give me that point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 16 to work with. 16 to go. Very good. Uh, three, or we're going to put two minutes on the clock, Danny. We're going to count you to the count of three. Uh, can you not uh, hit the move your mouse on the thing? Because yeah. it blocks out the question sometimes. Uh, but you've got two minutes, Finchie. To and Mark, 16. don't forget to stop when he gets one wrong. We're going to say it <laughs> again because it happens every week. <laughs> I would ask the timekeeper to also shout, stop the clock the minute yeah. <laughs> gets wrong, just in case I forget. I just lose the run so that to get overexcited. So on the count of three... <laughs> Three, two, one. Which Czech midfielder has 154 appearances for Ajax between 2000 and 2006? Uh, Gregera. Stop the clock. I did it. I did it, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Czech midfielder Success. for Ajax. Had 154 appearances for Ajax between 2000 and 2006. So that's a that's really not, good Czech team. Like that. Is that, that's, that's not, no, he was injured. Uh, Thomas Rzyski, no? Did he come no, from No, he went from Prague, I'm pretty sure, didn't he? Arsenal. Would have been around then. Uh. Yeah, to Arsenal. Around 2006. Maybe yeah. it was him. Who else is midfield for Czech Republic? Nedved, obviously. It's not him, no. though. I can't think of another one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You got, we'll go with Rzyski, maybe, just in case. Finish. Is this one of these where you've caught the right answer? No, uh, like, answer. it's not. Uh, it's not Poborski. Rosicki played for Prague for two seasons. Yeah, and moved did, to yeah. Dortmund and then moved to Arsenal ah. in 2006. You, you're wrong, lads. The right answer, as Finch pointed out, yeah, it was not Rosicki. It was Thomas Galasek. Uh, played right. 154 times for Ajax, which means that you still got 16 to catch, Finchy. But how long is that from the clock now, Donny? 152. 152 left in the clock. With a count of three, we're going to get back into this. Three, two, one. Who managed Croatia in the 2018 World Cup final? Um, oh, fucking pass. <laughs> Stop the clock. I don't know either. The manager of Croatia it wasn't Bilic, no? No, he was well gone. He managed him at Euro 2012. Uh, um, I, I can't remember. Uh... Oh God! Former player, have a cut. I don't know. Like, I mean, they were in the World Cup <laughs> final. For someone God's from sake. how some, do we not know that? So you name someone from the '98 World Cup team. <laughs> Robert Prozaneski. <laughs> Robert Prozaneski is the wrong answer. Zlatko <laughs> Zlatlic was the correct That's, answer. Really, he must not have made much of an impact getting to a World Cup final. No, because like that everybody was Luka Modric's team. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Still 16 to catch 50. You're starting <laughs> off the mark this one. And the next one isn't much easier either. <laughs> Spoiler alert. How long is that for the clock now, Donnie? 1.45. 1.45. Count, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Anthony Stokes plays for which Iranian club? Uh, Persepolis. Yes. Uh, Albania secured its only win at Euro 20, 2016 against which country? Uh, Romania. Yes. Yeah, Shane Duffy made his Premier League debut in 2009 for which club? Everton. Yeah, uh, Christian Shibi retired as a player while with which club? Roma. Stop the clock. It was not Roma. Inter? Yeah. No, it? but maybe Inter was earlier. He's, who was he, it? He, he was the guy who wore the thing like he looked like an Orthodox Jew, wasn't he? Uh, who no? are we talking? I didn't hear the who name. Who is it? 
Is that the lad who wore the scrub cap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the old boy, the old boy, the old boy, he was he was in the Inter team that won the Champions League, wasn't he? Okay, so it wasn't Inter then. I don't know. Have a guess. Genoa. <laughs> Genoa is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Inter Milan. Ah, oh, <laughs> lad. There we go. Uh, Donny, how long do I know these things? <laughs> I've proven that week after week. I don't know what I know. <laughs> Johnny, how many does Finchie need long after the clock? He needs 13 and he's got 127. Oh, wow. This, is, this will be some comeback if you manage to pull this off. Sean, right. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Who was Belgium's manager at the 1986 World Cup? Pass. Like... <laughs> 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 Ireland played them in the 88 qualifiers and it's in the Charlton years. Yeah, I, can, I can describe what he looks like, but I haven't a clue what his name is. He I, got, smoked a cigar on the sideline. I won't have a clue. No. Vin Vincent. Vin Vincent is not like the worst guess in that you have the, you have the rhyming bit right. It was uh, Guy Ties. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Ties. <laughs> Guy Ties. <laughs> Guy Ties. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so, a Google search that has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remind us of the state of play, Donny, before we jump back in. 122 to go and 13 questions still to pursue. 122. Finchie can do that. He can do that. You can definitely do that. Oh, dude, not with these boxy questions. <laughs> You're getting good at quick passes, though. Yeah. Everything, is this, everything is this century for at least the next four questions. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> on the count of three, three, two, one. Which Sampdoria player finished top scorer in Serie A last season? Uh, Quagliarella. Yeah, who finished in third place at the 2002 World Cup? Uh, Turkey. Uh, which Portuguese striker finished league uh, score, top league sc- scorer in league uh, 2006? Yes. Uh, which defender scored Colombia's winner in the 2001 Copa America final? Uh, pass. Oh, stop stop the clock. Which, which defender scored Colombia's winner in the 2001 Copa America final? Uh, make any... Defenders for, defender that for, nine, for that 94 team springing to your mind <laughs> that might have been still around. Yeah, well, only one that, that wasn't around. Um, no, I haven't a clue. No, I haven't a clue. Yeah. I don't know. The correct answer that is Ivan Cordoba. Ah. No. So you've got a few there, Finchy. You're on a bit of a roll there. Uh, what is required now, Donnie? 10 to go and a minute on the clock. Oh. 10 to go and a minute on the clock. You can do this. You can definitely do this. Come on, Finchy. <laughs> <laughs> Mick does this every week he ends up cheering for him <laughs> 10 to go minute on the clock minute exactly you can do this definitely 3 2 1 Marcio Amoroso scored 22 goals in the 1998-1999 season for which Italian club? Uh, Parma stop the clock Milan what's his name? Marcio Amoroso Amor- oh no Fiorentina I have in my name. head for some reason okay Fiorentina Currently is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Udinese. Uh-huh. So you still require 10, Finchie. How long is left, Donny? Down to 54. Down to 54. On the count of three. Three, two, one. How many goals did David Villa score en route to finish in top scorer at Euro 2008? Uh, four. No? Stop the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so close to playing as well. Uh, Six? Five? Five, five yeah. Five. Five, Mark. Five is the correct answer. Let's push Finchy <laughs> back. He needs he needs eleven now. How long is left on the clock? Fifty-one seconds. Fifty-one seconds, Sean. This is getting. I hard. don't think Mark can ask the questions quick enough for this. To be <laughs> yeah. I keep stumbling across them. The quicker I try to go. Um, right on the count of three. Three, two, one. Eamon Zaid is eight caps for which country? Libya. Who's the current Denmark captain? Christian Eriksen. Stop the clock. Oh, fuck yeah. Denmark, we play them every week. Uh, um, yeah. Simon Kier, is it? Yeah, that's him, isn't it? Kier, Mark. It is indeed Simon Kier. Wow. So you're back to 11 again, Finchie. With how many seconds left, Donnie? I've lost 40, the arse. 45. 45 <laughs> seconds. You need 10. Let's see this what number we can get him to. I don't know if there's 10 questions left on the board, but look at who's right. There's only 11. I'll count to three. Three, two, one. How many France caps does Sylvain Distad have? Zero. How many World Cups have the video played at? One. Stop the clock. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> two. No, they've definitely played at least one. So it's two. Going with two? Yeah. 
It is. Two is the right answer. <laughs> oh, lads. What number can we get him to here now? What's he at the moment? <laughs> so, is that 11 black. again? 11. Yeah, let's keep 11 it. Here. Let's try and keep it over 10, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. Right, I'll count to three. Three, two, one. Who finished tour at USA 94? Uh, Romania. Stop the clock. <laughs> oh, here you are. I'm just this now. Bulgaria. No, uh, Sweden. Sweden, yeah. <laughs> Sweden is the right answer. You need 12 oh. pitches. 12 for <laughs> many, many seconds after the clock? 33 seconds. 33 seconds. This is a scotch. I'm just um, gone. <laughs> Come on, get it over right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Who did Ireland play off to qualify for Euro 2012? Estonia. Uh, Haji's son, Ilias, is currently alone at what Rangers. Scottish club? Who managed Greece to the Euro 2004? Oh, Ray right, Hagel. Uh, who does Killian Sheridan play for? Oh... Uh, Leading anyone, uh, uh, Polish team, yeah, pass. No, it's not. I know it. I know it now. I think I do anyway. Mongo. I can't remember the name, but it's not one. It's not like Ligue Warsaw or like Poznan or any of the ones you'd know. So I can't remember what it is. Okay, Pinchy. Whistler Pluck. It is yeah, Whistler Pluck. But unfortunately, it's too little, too late. How many required, Donny? Uh, nine. Whoa, nine required. Man. How long left seconds. in the slot? Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. <laughs> right. <laughs> For the count of three. Three, two, one. Bamiang joined Dortmund from which French club in 2013? Saint Etienne. Uh, how many Bundesliga titles have Bayern Munich won? <laughs> Loads. <laughs> Twenty-five. Wrong answer. It's 28. I was uh, going to say 28 as well. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. How many seconds have we got left? One second. One second. <laughs> I got one more question. One more question. Come on, Come on. Benji, finish on a strong one. This is for a bonus 500 points. No, I am. <laughs> Final question. What stadium <laughs> did Borussia Dortmund play in? The Signal Iduna Park, the Westfalen Stadium. There's two. Yeah, there you go. We uh, give him two points so- for that. <laughs> give- no, we'll just stick it to one. Uh, because this, we, we, need to keep a, we need to keep a record of this. Uh, how many was how many how far ahead did the lads finish, Johnny? Eight. Hey, how many steps? I have them. <clears throat> I have them on nine. Nine ahead. Nine ahead. That's. Mm. I think he, we talked about. Nine? He was on the ropes earlier on before this. He's now definitely on the mat. A broken man, I say, Mark. Like, how is he going to beat members of the public at this stage? You know. <laughs> yeah. Just never got going, Fitchy. What happened? Uh, um, I don't like to blame the questions, but the questions weren't weren't good for me. Um, I also I also don't like to blame my performance, but my performance was to blame as well. Um, I just didn't get going. Just didn't. You get couldn't going. get in a flow. You, like every time you got too right, you get a tough question, and then it kind of broke the yeah. momentum again. You need you need to start banging out six seven in a row. I think, especially when me and Mick get a good score. So yeah, you know, I, 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 I you know I'm. Is the four? I don't know where to go for me. Uh, Starting to become an unbreakable barrier for Finch. Well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have beaten us anyway, Mick. No, of course not. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to have too big an advantage. <laughs> well, maybe the, maybe the questions in the first round need to get a bit tougher. Ah, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is going to make for some montage when Finchy eventually managed to overcome me again. And there's all yeah. this mealy mouthing and brow baiting, and then we could yeah. all go back to it and tell him, but, oh, we need to make questions easier for him and all this. Yeah. You stick it to them, Sean. I I mean, you'll see, Finchie will have uh, videos of him up on his Twitter account watching Premiership years from 97, 98 now and Rocky music playing in the background. That doesn't make any difference. I'm going to have to watch the bleed. I'm going to have to watch the bleed Copa America for him in 2001. For the 1996 World Cup. I'm going to say, of all the things, the last thing you need to watch is Premier League years because you never get a Premier League question. <laughs> <laughs> oh lads but anyway that is it for today like we mentioned if you and your friend want to come on the podcast and try football and stump friend. Finchy yourselves you can football friend you can make you can win yourself a 50 euro just D voucher uh, get in contact with us by uh, emailing the gaffer at balls.ie or get in touch on social media at balls D-O-T-I-E but that is it from us today you can find our other podcasts on balls.ie podcast and all good podcast apps please do subscribe and rate and review the show while you're there but until we chat to you again Mind yourself.